Welcome to Tessa's Toys of Field. Hi guys, it's me, Tesslin, and we're opening this box. It's a toy. It's for me today, and it was free. It was spent for free. Hey guys. Let's open it up. Yeah, let's open it up. This is called a large size aqua doodle mat. Let me see what it comes with. Hold on. It comes from a company called Free to Fly on Amazon. And, we, and how does it unraise? We will see. Okay, it's for painting. And after three to five minutes, it'll look like that. And then in ten minutes, it disappears. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So you can keep doodling on it over and over again. Here's, hold on, here it says to use the water brush. You have to unscrew the pen point, fill the pen with water, tighten the pen point, and then start painting. To keep the baby from playing with the water in the pen, the pen point is designed to reverse rotation. It's designed in reverse rotation. Please dip your pen into the water before you use it. Okay. All right, so... <laughs> Um, so yeah, I was contacted by Free to Fly. And when you're done with it, and you can put it back in the box. Yeah, and um, so and the, a little handle. the mat is non-toxic. -to it's non-polluting. Um, best kids doodle toys enables your kids to paint on the Who desk or floor with your their friends and never make a mess. Who did this? I don't know. Do not want, you're not supposed to um, machine wash or brush wash so someone broke this someone... this is our first toy review so we really don't know what we're doing <laughs> anyway it says you can reuse it's not focusing oh no. No. i know why all right this it. is yeah. able to be reused uh, automatically Disappears after drawing 10 minutes, automatically disappears, can be reused. Um, soft waterproof design, soft and thickly painted cushions. Hello. Still sit, sit drawing, waterproof design. Don't worry about making the floor wet. And draw with water. Don't worry about getting dirty little hands or clothes. And it's got a handle on the top of it, so you can put it back in the box and... Carry it around, and it says for ages three and up, um, small parts, not for children under three years old. So we will be right back, and we will have this opened. So we're going to open this. So is it right here? Here it is. All right, pull it out of the box. So everything's wrapped up inside there. Here it is. Here is our thank you card from Free to Fly. Nothing's in there. And it's just a thank you note. Let's open this. And it's got a 30-day worry-free money back. 18-month uh, replacement warranty. Lifetime... Supper guarantee. Super guarantee? Oh, yeah. And enjoy extra 12 months warranty after you register. Awesome. Oh. Okay, so she's got it out of the package. Bring it over here. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I imagined, which is great, because I was thinking it was going to take up the entire living room floor. Bring it over oh, here. It comes with these. Oh, it comes with stencils. And it comes with these. And we here's the pens. Make... And then there's shapes. The styrofoam and shapes. Wow, look at that. It's this thick. This mat is really thick, and it's cushiony. And we can draw in here when we wait when we wait for ten hours. It can and look at all the dinosaurs on there. She loves yeah, dinosaurs. Yeah, I like cats. Uh, my favorite. I like a Trichinodon. I like a Trichinodon, and I like a Triceratops. I like a Triceratops, and a Nurturiceratops. And what's that one called? I'm not sure. That's a weird one. <laughs> That's a orange dinosaur. I don't know what What's that is. one over there? Um. The orange one. 
a spiky I don't know. dinosaur. A spiky dinosaur. That one looks like what? Um, a swimming dinosaur. And what's that one? That's, these are all babies. So what? Brachiosaurus. Was... Yeah. And what's this one? T Rex. Okay. Another T Rex. I think that might be the brontosaurus. I'm not sure. Okay, let's open up. Here, I need the instructions over there. All right. Okay, this is just a picture. It basically tells you what to do. All right, so. I'm super. Why can you show them? Let us get some water in. I'm going to do a dinosaur. Here. Well, hold on. Open this up. And we'll open this up. We got to get some water in the pen. So it looks like there's just two colors. Aqua Magic. So they they change they change color. I'm not sure. Okay, this is this looks like another pen that you put water in. This must be the pen you put water in. I'm not sure. Let's see if you can find the directions. Here is the instructions. Oh, that's the instruction that shows you little things to different. Um... Undo. One, two, three. Okay, you undo. This is just uh, different oh, patterns, baby. and it shows you how to draw things. A rainbow and a dinosaur. Okay. This is so cool. It does it. Oh! Yeah, it shows you how to make things. So, care instructions. Okay. Do Do not fill the magic pens with ink or paint. Um, the water doodle mat is designed to only be used with our magic pens. Markers, pens, and paints can permanently stain and ruin the surface of the mat. So regular ones. Please do not use any other art medium on the mat. Um, do not fill the magic with ink or paint. Please provide adult supervision to children who fill up the pens with water. Clean the mat surface with a wet cloth or soft sponge. Do not put in the washing machine. This item is not machine washable. Do not dry. It will dry or... Oh, do not dry it with dryer or exposed to the sun. Okay, so the instructions are basically on the box. So let's look at the box again. Um, here they are right here. It says unscrew the pen... Fill it with water and tighten the pen. Uh -oh. Or maybe the instructions are on here. Because this has the color in it. Order not to let the baby play with water pen is counter rotating head design. Soaking the pen's head before use. So then what are these? I don't understand what are those things you put water in? You're supposed to put water in this, too. Why are we putting it? I don't... I'm oh, really I confused. Because, see, this is the one that has the unscrew cap. What are these? The water brush. Oh. There's a lot of these. There's red ones and markers. And these are for water. I get it. Okay, maybe the, these tips have color in them? I don't know. They don't look like they have color in them. They just look like they're plain white. How to use water brush. Maybe I need to go on the website. <laughs> go back to Amazon and look. Because the instructions are not very clear. Draw with water. Okay. We're going to fill these up and we'll be right back. All right. We are back. And now we have, I had four. Here they are. Four pens with water in them. These ones are just four pens with water. This one is just a clear pen, as you can see, with water. I think I figured it out. The magic is in the mat. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure about these because I think these actually have a color, um, a something in there. So we filled it with water. We filled both of them with water. And then these two that come with it with water. And we have a little bowl here of water. 
so we can dip the tip in to get it wet. Now, what are you going to draw first? Um, a bird going on top and a bear walking, and he was loving the weather. Okay, so take all these stencils off so you have room to do it, and we're going to get your tip wet. Here, let's try using this one yeah. first, okay? Now, you need to dip the tip in the water right here. Okay, I think it's wet now. Okay. Now go ahead and... And look at that. And that's just with water. That's neat. Okay, let's try the other pen. You want to do the bear with this one? Yeah. Okay, put the lid back on that. Down below me, Mark. Here, grab the pen. No, grab the pen down and below. Here. Yeah, your heart is perfect. Okay, so on here it says to turn it on, it needs to be turned. Mm -hmm. That's clockwise, so. Dun, dun, dun. Well, it's on as tight as it'll go, so that should be on. Okay, pick the pen up and dip it in the water. Okay. Let's see if it's any different. I don't know. Okay, you're going to do your bear now. Okay. It's okay. Do the tip of it. Do it straight down. <sighs> I keep messing up. It's okay. It'll it'll go away eventually. Okay, where do you want the bear? Right there next by the hole. Right here? No. Right here? Yes. Okay. And I want the hole perfect. You can't have everything perfect. Yeah. I want it to be perfect. Then I said I wouldn't. Well, you know what? It can't be perfect. It will. So we're just doing the outline, outlining the bear. And these, this mat does dry very quickly. So if your kid wants to do a masterpiece, this is not, this is not meant for something that's going to last a long time. It's a temporary board and Tesla is six. She doesn't quite understand that. And she thinks that it should be, stay a little longer. But as you can see, you can come over here to where the letters are. And look at that. The, the, the letters that are on the mat, they will stay because it's part of the mat. And it's, it's just water that's inside of here. So I don't I don't know what the difference is between this yeah. pin and this pin. But oh this one doesn't have the Watch tip me. wet. But I got the tip wet now. And then so basically it's just the water is doing the coloring and it's this needs to soak in the water for a little while because it's not soaked up in it so that what's inside of there will be able to be used but until the tip is actually wet it won't work but the co the mat has different colors going all the way across As you can see here, it's a different shade. And then we got like it's a red color over here. It's like the color of the rainbow because this is like a purple color. And it's getting a little darker. It's going into blue right here. And then we got a green. And then, as you saw over here, the orange. See, the bear is already dry. And then it's going into yellow. Why are you doing this? Because I'm showing the colors of the mat. And then there's orange. And back to red. And look at what Tessa did. She just used the stencil and did all the things that were on the stencil. 
And now she wants to just scribble away. And this is actually really cool because it's just water. There's no ink or anything. So you're, you're drawing with water. She did the heart and she had just soaked the tip so it was really wet. So the bigger the thing... Yeah, see, this tip is definitely wet now. So it's having no issues doing any coloring. The coloring. So let's put Tesla's name here. T-E-S-S. -E -S. You do the rest. L. You can do it upside down. You're upside down. Yep, it's backwards because you're... <laughs> So I, I actually really like this. As you can see, it's already starting to dry from this end because it's water. It's not going to stain anything. Good job. And she'll be able to take this outside even during the summertime, take it out on the grass. And she could, well, you probably don't want to do that because of the fact that you don't want to get it, um, the sun. It said right on there, don't let, you know, the sun beat down on it. If she was in the shade or something and wanted to do some coloring, you know, color with water. And it only goes to the edges here, because right here is just uh, the decoration of the... And it, and it does feel like there's foam in between here. W, W, X, Y, and Z. You do your Y's backwards, kiddo. And your Z's backwards. <laughs> Here's what a Z looks like. Where's the Z? T Q R S. Oh, where is I wanna it? Do a oh there's the Z right there. See, that's what a Z looks like. Practice your Zs. <laughs> All right. Well, this is something she can have fun with, and, I'm, and I can be sure she will not make a mess. Um, the bowl of water can go away now that the tips are wet. We don't need them because the water that's inside of here will keep it moist. Um, it doesn't use very much water. All that that I did, mm -hmm. hardly any of the water got used here. As you can see. So, this will last for quite a while. I'm still unsure of what the difference between what these are, because on the insides of these, they have, um, they have this um, thing in there. So, I'm thinking that's just maybe, uh, that's just a core to absorb the water into, and then it goes up into this sticky thing here in the cap to transfer the water into the tip. So I'm not sure if they just threw those in or if it was um, in addition to, and this is the only issue with water. Oopsies. We didn't put the water away. Oopsies. Someone put their knee in it. Oopsies. <laughs> my pants. Yep. Okay. Well, that's the rest of this video. Um, like I said, I really don't think that there's a difference between this pen and this. Um, this just has that core in the middle to hope, help um, keep the water moving. It's okay, Tesla. Go get it. So this is the only thing I'm kind of boggled by as to the difference between these two pens. But they seem to be just do the same exact thing. Um, and this area down here, it's still a little bit wet so it says it takes 10 minutes for it to completely dry but depends on how hard you you um put place your pen how much water gets put on the mat as to how long it'll take for it to dry because it does not take very long at all for it to dry so i hope you enjoyed this video this was teslin's first toy review <laughs> teslin's first toy review how did you like it teslin how do you like this toy i'm bowser your bowser yeah. How do you like the toy? Good. Uh, that's me! That's you? Yeah. Is this something you would like to play with a lot? Do you want to play with this a lot? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay. Well, she's content. She's busy playing with it, so obviously she loves it. And she just has to learn that she can't always be perfect. So... That's it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.